Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. How to enable TLS 1.2 on Windows Server? If you're managing a Windows Server and wondering how to enable TLS 1.2 for enhanced security, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to get you up and running. First, it's important to know that TLS 1.2 is enabled by default on newer versions of Windows, such as Windows 10, Windows Server 2016, and later. However, if you're using an older version, you'll need to make some adjustments. For older versions of Windows, if you're using Windows Server 2008 R2 or similar older versions, you'll need to manually enable TLS 1.2. Here's how you can do it. Open the Registry Editor. You can do this by searching for Regidit in the Start menu. Navigate to the 8-key Local Machine System Current Control Set Control Security Providers Channel Protocols key. Right-click on the Protocols folder and select New Key. Rename this new key to TLS 1.2. Under the TLS 1.2 key, create two more keys, Client and Server. Inside both the Client and Server keys, create two DWORD 32-bit values named Enabled and Disabled by Default. Set the value of Enabled to 1 and Disabled by Default to 0 for both keys. For Windows 8.1 and later. For Windows 8.1, Windows Server 2012 R2 and later versions, TLS 1.2 is generally enabled by default, but you might need to ensure it's configured correctly. Update Windows and WinHttp. For older versions like Windows 7 or Windows Server 2012, you need to install specific updates to enable TLS 1.2 for WinHttp. For example, install update 314-245 to add TLS 1.2 to the default secure protocols list. Ensure TLS 1.2 is enabled as a protocol for channel at the operating system level. This is usually already done, but you can verify by checking this channel protocols registry key. Update and configure the .NET framework to support TLS 1.2. For .NET framework versions before 4.62, you may need to install updates and set specific registry values. For instance, set the system default TLS versions and SHU's strong crypto registry settings to enable strong cryptography. Using PowerShell or Command Prompt, you can also enable TLS 1.2 using PowerShell or Command Prompt, which can be more efficient, especially for multiple servers. Open PowerShell as an administrator and run the necessary commands to create the registry entries. For example, PowerShell new item property, path HKLM system current control set control security providers channel protocols TLS 1.2 server dash name enabled value one property type D word force new item property path HKLM, system current control set to control security providers channel protocols, TLS 1.2 server. Name disabled by default, value zero, dash property type dword force. Alternatively, you can use command prompt with commands like hemid reg add add HKEE local machine system current control set controls channels protocols TLS 1.2 server. V enabled T D word slash D1 F reg add H key local machine system current control set control security providers protocols TLS 1.2 server V disabled by default slash T doored slash zero. Final steps. After making these changes, restart your server to ensure the new settings take effect. It's also a good idea to test your TLS 1.2 configuration to make sure everything is working as expected. By following these steps, you'll be able to enable TLS 1.2 on your Windows server, enhancing the security of your communications and protecting your data. Remember to always back up your registry before making changes and to test your setup thoroughly to avoid any disruptions. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.